Hey guys, Luke from Sundance Golf Cars here. We get a lot of questions about, you know, what's the deal with lithium. I'm gonna do this quick little video to kind of give you a little tutorial on what lithium is and how it is a benefit over lead acid batteries. Okay, so here at Sundance Golf Cars, we spent about five years doing research and development on lithium batteries. We tried many different manufacturers, uh, most of which came up short, meaning before you go out and just buy any lithium battery to put in your golf cart, you might want to do a little research. Uh, lithium is quite expensive and if you just go putting any lithium battery in your golf cart, more than likely what you're going to do is you're going to run that battery all the way out and that battery will be as good as a paperweight. A couple of things to know about lithium. Some of the advantages to lithium ion batteries is that they are maintenance free, number one. Number two, they have a much longer lifespan. Most lithium battery packs will have about a, three, a two to 3,000 life cycle lifespan, which translates to about eight to 10 years. Versus a lead acid battery, depending on the size of the battery, they'll, they'll range from anywhere from three to five years. The battery that we use actually integrates with our carts. It communicates with our controller, Make sure that you cannot over discharge, you cannot overcharge. It actually sends the cart into lint mode once you get down to 16% to safeguard the battery. It's available in 140 amp hour and also a 70 amp hour. Depending on your driving, it's kind of what you want to factor in on getting a lithium battery. If you're only going a couple miles on, the, on a trip, then you can probably get away with doing the 70 amp hour. If you want to do 20 plus miles, then I would say go to the 140. We're seeing approximately a 40 mile range uh, with the 140 amp hour and about a 20 mile range on the 70 amp hour. Some of the pros and cons between lithium and lead acid. Lithium all around is just a better battery. Longer lifespan, longer drive time, shorter charge times, uh, also less expensive to charge. Uh, no maintenance with the lithium battery. Lead acid battery, you do have to maintain it. There's a lot of different variables as far as charging it. You have to make sure you give it a full complete charge cycle every time you charge it. Whereas the lithium, you can charge it for however long you want. It's not gonna hurt the battery. Also, an advantage of lithium is if you're in the desert or in a climate where it's very hot, lithium isn't affected like a lead acid battery would be. Is with lithium battery, you don't have any problem with corrosion. No wires getting corroded and making a mess. Uh, that's only with lead acid batteries. The lithium battery, you get 100% power through the entire range of the battery. Lead acid batteries, you only get about 50% of usable power. After that, you lose all your power. Yeah, it still might run, but you don't have very much power with the, lith with the lead acid batteries. With our lithium batteries, we have a BMS in place called a battery management system. Basically monitors the entire battery pack, make sure that you cannot, you don't overcharge it, you don't over discharge, and make sure that all the cells are operating correctly. If there's a problem with the battery pack, it will send the cart into lint mode to safeguard the battery. At that point, I can connect my computer to it and it'll tell me exactly what's wrong with the battery and we can fix the battery. Another advantage of our lithium battery is that it comes with an onboard charging system. The charging system is on, uh, built into the cart all you do is plug an extension cord into the cart. So essentially you can bring an extension cord with you and charge your cart at any place you go. The battery pack takes three to four hours to charge. What we've seen with the batteries, if you've got the battery at 50%, 60%, it only takes an hour, an hour and a half to charge the battery. Versus a lead acid battery would take up to eight to 10 hours to charge because it needs to go to a full complete charge cycle every time so that your chargers usually will run at about eight to 10 hours. So in the, in the long run with the lithium battery, over a 10 year period, it's actually a cheaper way to go. Uh, if you factor in that with lead acid batteries, you pay about $1,000 a pop to replace the battery at, a, at every three to four years. So you have to pay someone to come out, change the battery every three to four years. In San Diego, it costs about $50 a month to charge a lead acid battery if you charge it every day. If you charge a lithium battery every day, it'll cost about $15 a month. So after a 10 year period, that battery pays for itself. Not to mention the hassle with having to maintain the battery. Also, your charge time goes down, so therefore your electricity bill goes down also. So after a savings of, you know, your electricity bill cut in half, 
uh, per charge. Over a 10 year period, this battery pretty much pays for itself. Lithium battery is approximately 200 pounds lighter. So you'll notice an acceleration difference right off the bat. Going up hills, you'll notice a difference. You also pick up range just because there's less weight in the cart. So just to be fair, we'll go over disadvantages with lithium. There is none. <laughs> the only disadvantage is upfront cost is, is higher. Like I said, in the long run, it's actually a better investment, but initially your upfront cost is gonna be higher. So if you have a cart now that has lead acid batteries, you can convert to lithium. Depending on the type of cart you go with, it, it is always recommended to go with an AC drive system with a lithium conversion, just more efficient. There are battery drop-in units that you get for different manufacturers. For the most part, they're pretty generic. If you have an easy go, a club car or a Yamaha, we have a system that'll work for it. Any other manufacturer, we do have a drop-in lithium battery. That's not the same as this, it's more generic, but it will work for any golf cart. So the reason why I like lithium so much is because it makes for a really happy customer. With the lithium battery, we install these things, the car goes out, we don't hear from our customer for quite a long time. Um, so the reason why I like to sell them and the reason why I like them the most, not only because it's just an all around the best way to go, but it also makes for a really happy customer. Once again, I'm Luke from Sundance Golf Cars. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Bye. <laughs>